Well, that was the flavour of the debate in Holyrood yesterday. We're joined now from Glasgow by the Scottish Government's Cabinet Secretary for Finance, Derek Mackay. Uh, welcome to the programme, Mr Mackay. Uh, the Scottish Nationals have been complaining about Tory austerity for years. Now you've finally got the powers to raise taxes and end austerity. You're not doing it. Why not? Well, we don't want to pass on Tory austerity to households uh, in Scotland. And if we had raised taxation, that's what it would have done. So we've taken a balanced approach on taxation by freezing the rates, uh, the basic rate, the higher rate, uh, and the additional rate. Uh, but what I'm not following is uh, the Tory tax cut uh, for many of the richest in terms of the higher rate threshold. So you so think we'll raise that, revenue. Yep, you think that people uh, on £43,000 are rich? Well, it's proportionate, and that's one of the points around a income tax. But are people they rich? Are paying, well, people paying the higher rate are amongst uh, the richer end of, of the spectrum. You call them rich. You call them tax cuts for the Tory tax cuts for the rich. Is the what you said. They're richest of our society, and that's about fourteen percent of taxpayers. So it is the case that at the higher end of income. So what we are doing with income tax is taking a, a balanced and proportionate approach to raise revenues to spend on public services in but, Scotland but, but and we're not simply following regime, Westminster's approach. Your tax regime, Mr Mackay, is no different from the Tories. The basic rate's 20 per cent, the higher rate's 40 per cent, the additional rate's 45 per cent. What is it in Westminster? 20, 40, 45. That's it. It's the Tory tax regime. But we're not following the Tories in their uh, raising of the threshold for the higher what? rate. I mean, that is a tax cut. Uh, we're not following that. Well, let's look we'll at what raise that means. The higher Let rate threshold in line with inflation. Let's look at what that means. It means that in Scotland, the higher rate, 40 per cent, will start at 43,430. In the rest of the UK, it will start at 45,000. That's it. That's the difference between you and the Tories. One and a half thousand pounds on one band. That's your approach to austerity. But what we are able to do with the divergence uh, in tax and the other decisions that I've made is invest over £700 million into the NHS, education, uh, policing uh, and infrastructure. And I think these are sound investments. And our tax proposition it also focuses on our social pledges as well. And that's things like free education, no prescription charges in Scotland, concessionary travel and more support for social care and a different approach in council tax as well. So what we've been able to do is well, you're raise, raising the necessary, tax. raise the necessary investment and revenue to be able to invest in our quality public services. And that's the balanced approach that we have in Scotland where we raise the tax and we'll spend it on things that people appreciate, including a £300 million increase how, for the NHS. How much tax, uh, by, by starting the higher rate a little earlier, how much revenue do you raise? Well, for the higher rate threshold difference, that's estimated to be around £89 million. Yes, £80 million this year. So it's not great in the grand scheme of things. Why didn't you raise... I mean, the Scottish Nationalists have told us for years that it's an unequal Tory society, that the rich have got too rich, the gap between the rich and poor is too wide. Why didn't you raise the top rate of tax to 50 pence? Well, we're doing many things to tackle inequality in but our society. Why didn't society, you raise the tax? As, well, I'm telling you what we're investing in, and that includes childcare, it includes the yeah. welfare fund But I'm Scotland, asking you why you didn't raise the, the top tax. rate of tax. But I'm telling you what we are doing to tackle inequality. Yes, and I'm asking you why you exactly didn't raise the top rate of tax. Why didn't you do what I'm that? Saying, because we've raised the necessary revenue to be able to invest in quality public services and an extra, but for my budget as proposed to Parliament, an extra £700 million for well, public hold on. services in Scotland. Hold on, you are slashing funding in real terms to local government. Well, the local government settlement in terms of local government services is actually increased by over £240 million. That's an increase when you look at health and social care integration, local social care look, uh, and local services. Local That's government increase, funding Andrew. in real terms is being cut by over three hundred million pounds. I'm sorry, These are just your taken, figures. No, no, well you've actually just taken the Labour press release. No, I haven't. I've Take got your all, I've got your own uh, figures well, here. You're not looking at the total package to local government and to local government services, which includes a number of funding streams that takes the figure yes. to over two hundred and forty million pounds. Right. Not of a reduction 
but an increase but, to but local if, government but, services in Scotland. But, but You're only looking me, at part Mackay, of the picture, Andrew. If with what well, I would give you the bigger picture, if with one hand local government funding is being cut by 327, and by the other hand you're adding Which in another not. 240, simple arithmetic tells me overall that's still a cut. Well, I tell you what, Andrew, don't take my word for it. There's the Fraser of Allender Institute, who are independent experts, who have actually said that the increase for local government services is even higher than the figure that I've suggested. What's wrong with the figures I've just given you? Well, you've picked the Labour Party press release, which I no, have no, to I'm say is I've accurate. got your table and, 902. Uh, well, you see, the that's official only part. government spending plans. Andrew, Andrew, you should know better. That's only part of the settlement to local government and only part of the picture in local government services. I'm giving you an accurate figure on the totality of the package uh, to local government services. And if it was such a bad proposition, oh. why hasn't the Association of Local well, Authorities rejected my package uh, well, to local authorities? It's a very fair and strong well, settlement. The well, hold on. The Scottish Local Government pa Partnership had this to say. Derek Mackay has used smoke and mirrors to try and disguise the SNP slash and burn economic strategy. The SNP has just clobbered the tier of government, local government, which is closest to the <clears> people <throat> of Scotland. It's plain to see who will suffer most. But you have clearly not read the rest of the press release and the commentary from COSLA, that is the Association of Local Government uh, in Scotland, who have said that they recognise that we've moved on the package and you have to look at the wider package for local government services. So all in all, they haven't rejected the offer that I've made to them. If it's so bad, they, they would have done, I can well, assure you, but they're considering the totality of resources we've given for local government services, uh, you, which actually shows an increase of £240 you, million. Pounds, and independent experts are saying it's actually higher well, than not that, that we're in, investing. Not that independent are, expert that who happens to be the local Institute, government The Fraser well, of Allender Institute right, you is mentioned the Fraser of Allender Institute. Is that what the BBC Institute. is seriously saying? Right, let me come and back to the Fraser of Allender. investing more in child care, oh, hold on. in Wait, education. You've said all that. You mentioned <laughs> the Fraser of Allender Institute, uh, which pointed out recently that economic growth in Scotland is now only a third of what it is in the rest of the UK. Why? Well, Andrew, you will also know that the oil and gas sector has been impacted by the, the, the price of oil. That has impacted so, uh, on our economy. It's all down and to frankly, oil and gas? No, it's not all down to that. No. But, you know, our economy it is a factor in our economy. And we've had a strong economic uh, performance in Scotland in terms of over the period of devolution and in the time that this government's been in office yeah. on productivity and uh, employment and in terms but of unemployment of is rising registered. Mr Mackay well, unemployment they, is rising they, they vary, growth is vary, faltering well, foreign direct investment is collapsing employment's in a better situation than it was before the pre-crisis levels and it has a good record Can in Scotland and it will vary from month to month of course it will but over the course of the year we've had a stronger okay. position in terms of employment uh, and uh, well, unemployment and we will do rising. even more to support our economy through the budget that I've outlined right. to Parliament Let me just including finish with... lifting 100,000 businesses from business rates altogether. From a tax that you originally introduced. Let me uh, well, come that's not to one final either. question. B business rates was not a tax. No, but you put a supplement on the business rates, Mr. McKay. Well, I'm sorry, you, well, that doesn't relate to the 100,000 businesses Let me ask you one that will final benefit question. from the small business bonus, uh, Andrew. I think you really need to check the facts. Oh, don't worry, I have checked my facts, Scotland. and we will check them more too. If you, are, if you are not following Tory austerity, why are you cutting funding to universities, and no. why are you keeping the 1% Tory cap on public sector pay? Well, I think we have to take a, a balanced approach uh, on pay to ensure that there are no compulsory redundancies it's in a Tory approach. public services. Well, I can tell you that no compulsory redundancies is most certainly not a Tory approach, but that's what we'll deliver, a fair and balanced uh, pay offer to our public uh, sector uh, workers, delivery of the living wage and a different policy in, in terms of low pay uh, as well. But we're raising extra resources to invest in public services across Scotland and yes, taking a different approach uh, from the Tories. And I think that's the right thing to do and that's what the people of Scotland expect. All right, Mr Bukai, thank you for joining us from Glasgow. Thank you very much. Time now.